Hello, my name is Stephen Rohde. I'm a constitutional lawyer practicing for over 35 years here in Los Angeles, California. I'm pleased to have this opportunity uh, to address the platform of the Democratic Party. I think this is a crucial time for us to restore the rule of law uh, and to ensure that the Constitution and the Bill of Rights is respected and that we take affirmative steps in the new administration uh, to restore the Bill of Rights and to restore civil liberties. A short list of the important initiatives that should be taken in the next administration and that should be reflected in the platform of our party uh, is that we immediately close the prison at Guantanamo Bay. Uh, it is uh, a shameful location. It is a shame on this country. In closing Guantanamo Bay, we should immediately transfer any detainees to federal facilities within the jurisdiction of the United States to ensure that they continue to have the rights that the U.S. Supreme Court has guaranteed them. We should assure them all of the rights and privileges under the Uniform Code of Military Justice that is guaranteed to uh, Americans when they face court-martial. Uh, we should also close all CIA secret black site prisons. Fundamentally, we should stop torturing people within the custody and detention of the United States anywhere on the face of this earth. It is an outrage that we are engaging in waterboarding and other forms of torture, as well as cruel, inhumane, and degrading treatment, all of which should be banished in every agency of our government as well as in any private contractors who are licensed and work for our government. We should stop the illegal, immoral practice of rendition, which is better called kidnapping, uh, the use of the CIA taking detainees and shipping them off to countries known to engage in torture. Domestically, we should stop the use of illegal wiretapping outside the law, outside the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. We should limit the use of national security letters, which have been used to acquire private information on Americans and other persons. We should reform the USA Patriot Act, which is filled with illegal and unconstitutional provisions. We should abide and fully comply with the Geneva Conventions in all respects, with respect to any person taken into custody anywhere on the face of the earth under U.S. custody. We should limit the use of state secret privileges which have prevented the courts from examining the illegal acts that this government has engaged in. We should engage in immigration reform so that people who are seeking asylum and refugee status will be given prompt hearings and will be guaranteed protection historically within the boundaries of the United States so that they are not returned to governments known to engage in cruel, inhumane punishment. We should strengthen the Freedom of Information Act, which has been restricted over the last seven years to guarantee that we can gain information from our own government. We should limit, therefore, the overclassification of documents and information which has been used by this Bush administration to conceal wrongdoing and illegal conduct. We should prohibit the politicization of the Department of Justice. The Department of Justice should be returned to its historical status as the People's Department of Justice not the Department of Justice in the captive control of any one political party. And we should immediately begin the act of accountability. We should support the establishment of a commission on the restoration of constitutional rights. We must hold accountable legally, criminally, and in the world community every person in this administration who has engaged in illegal conduct and war crimes and crimes against humanity. And finally, we should initiate an era of civic education. 
The people of America should be reminded of the ideals and principles on which this country was founded, how far we have drifted intentionally uh, and maliciously away from those ideals to a time when every American and every person in America understands that we cannot win the war on terrorism by destroying our own ideals and that it's by upholding our ideals and returning to a country that used to be seen as a beacon of liberty. That's what we should do. Our party platform should speak to every one of these principles and we should go out to the American people standing up for the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. Thank you very much.